this video. This is T's Workbook Hints video number five, and we're going to talk about variation. I'm probably going to do two videos on this. One is dealing with the basic variation problems where you have direct variation and inverse variation. And then in a future video, we'll look at some word problems. Now these hints or examples will help you with some of the questions in the relationship between two variables section of the T's Math Workbook. The most current version of the workbook is 1.3 as of the date of me recording this video and you can find that link to purchase the workbook in the description of any of my videos. Just bear in mind, once you purchase the workbook, you can instantly download this and start working on examples. So we have direct variation and inverse variation. Direct variation. Now when we get to the word problems, you want to think of it as, as one thing goes up, something else goes up, or as one thing goes down, something else goes down. More on that later, but the key thing here for this particular video is to look at y equals kx. Direct variation, y equals kx. y and x are some variables, and k is what we call a constant. Don't ask me why we didn't choose to use C, but in most textbooks, most classes, they refer to that constant as K. So if Y varies directly, direct variation, if Y varies directly with X and Y is 36 when X is 9, find the value of Y when X is 8. So varies directly, automatically this needs to trigger the following formula, Y equals KX. So y varies directly and y is 36, so I'm going to replace that y with a 36 and x is 9, so we have k times 9. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to solve for k. So k times 9 equals 36, well we can divide by 9 and that's going to give us a value for k of 4. So dividing by 9 on both sides, 4 is equal to k. Now we can find the value of y when x is 8. Well, we have y equals our constant of 4, and x is going to be 8 because we want to find the value of y when x is 8. Well, y equals 4 times 8, so therefore y is going to be 32. That is the answer to our problem. Now you may be wondering, okay, what's this whole one thing goes up, something else goes up, one thing goes down, something else goes down? Uh, just hang on to that idea for when we start covering the word problems in a future video. All right, inverse variation. Y equals K divided by X. So direct, we're multiplying the constant by X, and inverse variation, we're taking the constant and dividing by X. Now, inverse variation is the opposite of direct variation. For inverse, as one thing goes up, something else goes down, or as one thing goes down, something else goes up. If y varies inversely with x, okay, inverse variation, that's y equals k over x. And y is 15 when x is 3. y is 15, so I got my 15 there, equals k divided by 3 because x is 3. Now, what we want to do here, just like in this last example, we want to find that constant. We want to find k. And if we're taking k and dividing it by 3, the opposite of dividing by 3 is to multiply both sides by 3. We're solving an equation here. So if we're dividing by 3 and multiplying by 3, they cancel out, very similar to what we did over here, and 3 times 15 is equal to 45. So 45 is our constant. Now to finish this problem off, we want to find the value of y when x is 9. So let's go back to our formula, y equals k divided by x. Our constant is 45, and we want to find the value of y when x is 9. So let's divide by 9, dividing by that x, and 45 divided by 9 is 5. And there you have it, two examples, a quick overview of direct variation and inverse variation. In a future video, you'll see where this stuff here, one thing goes up, something else goes up, or one thing goes up, something else goes down, that will make more sense when we actually do some word problems. If you have a question, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.